guys hello guys and welcome back to my channel so guys this year july 11th of 2024 our very own president william ruto dissolved the cabinet and he was supposed to unveil another set of of cabinet secretaries and we were expecting fresh people fresh uh, in terms of leadership fresh in terms people with fresh faces fresh names fresh uh, fresh in all ways possible and people have actually gone to school for those those posts okay so today the president has once again unveiled his cabinet and to our amazement he just recycled most of the of them especially more common who people feel is an eye end as far as misappropriation is of funds is concerned gen c's are saying quote in quote waze wa merudi what this actually means is that what the president has done is just like twisted the whole thing like if you were in another docket he transfers you to another one and and this is really making the agencies feel like wamechezwa and uh, let me give you some names of the people who have, who have come back to the cabinet secretary position but in different dockets we start with uh, Kipchumba Murkomen who went who was for roads and uh, roads and you know land and everything right now is in sports uh, a position that was was held by ababu namwamba we are we are here for the next one is tourism and wildlife mepati wapo rebecca miano rebecca miano was also on another docket previously so these are just recycled people or or cabinet secretaries or leaders public service justice not justice but justin muturi who was a, a former attorney general labor and social protection mepatiwa alfred mutua who was also a former uh, cabinet secretary holder position holder mining and blue economy given to joho and i think this is now where they twist this because now this is an odm leader and uh, i feel like apa do kidogo kidogo raila mepatiwa a cake of the government so that we can be shut down so that we can be shut up so that the agencies can cannot really have somebody there okay we had the like agencies have already felt like they are on their own when it comes to fighting for this country but the fact that now ruto has given them the ODM leaders some positions in the cabinet secretaries. Now the 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 fight kind of is 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 really losing its weight or it's losing its uh its authenticity or, or the authenticity and everything else. We go to the environment Ada and Dwale. We go to roads Davis Chirchir. Guys, I want you to note on this roads roads which is for Davis Chirchir. The one was been nominated now. Previously, it was uh, Kipchumba Murkomen. These people are from the Rift Valley, all of them. So I feel like Ruto is just playing us. Ruto is just playing us. And Arutet Tuwatu, bringing back people from, you know, he just under, there's a game behind the curtains that we don't know. And uh, we, go, we go to foreign affairs, which has been given to Mudavadi. And I feel like these things are just, it's just a recycling game. And um, I don't know what you guys think about these positions or about these cabinet, cabinet secretary positions because now uh, people are feeling of the country at large or Kenyans at large feel like uh, Baba has really lost his teeth. He, he doesn't have so he's just being given position so that he can just you know I don't know so you know sometimes you reach a point you don't want to fight anymore you just want to look and see how things end then on the other news he apologized now president william ruto apologized on behalf of the police brutality and led that led to killings of or in the or in other words extrajudicial killings it has been killings after killings from police br brutality to bodies being found in quarry what we don't know is what he's doing about all this in the meantime history has repeated itself and once again the thieves are back like they never left what do you think comment like above and uh, you know like the above video and just subscribe guys because there's so much we should learn there's so much we should really get to understand there's so much uh going on in kenya and updates uh, upon updates is what i do bye bye guys thank you